Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Control 2. This is part 25. We are now friends with the Utwig. See if we can find their homeworld. Try and get an alliance with them. Is this their homeworld? I don't know. Let's chat to this guy. Suddenly, I am overcome with embarrassment. I possess the distinguished honor of addressing the legendary Earth Captain. You, I'm legendary. Please excuse my lack of proper facial appliance. This occasion ideally calls for me to don the expression of ultimate gratitude. And I am compelled by the forceful emanations of the Ultron to describe the appearance of the <laughs> Its foundation is composed entirely of a matrix of beetle secretions and tube of fern Ew. in an intricate and complex texture. The process is extremely time consuming since even the best trained beetle colonies will build a thousand rejects for every successful foundation. Oh. Alas. It will be many years before any of the Utwig will be able to wear such a mask. We are pleased that we were of assistance in the recovery of your Ultron. Indeed. We are in the process of reacclimating our brains to its MetaWave gyrations. Even now, we are compelled to implement a plan of interference supporting the goals of the core ah we sense through the influence of the ultron that these creatures of evil have goals which are mutually exclusive with our existence and your own even now aided by the intangible guidance of the ultron we formulate a plan that will serve to preserve the diversity in the galaxy we prepare an armada composed of the collective might of both the Utwig and Supox forces that will pursue the invaders with the intent of foiling their plan of doom. Does the remarkable device suggest to us a potential course of action? Your request is within our capabilities. One moment. Emanations from the Ultron. Orange furry air breathes tender yawns. Yes, it all becomes clear now. You must do something with the Great Bomb, the precursor relic we kept at Zeta Hyades 6B. It seems that this bomb must be, uh, eaten? No. Uh, hug. No, uh, improve. That's it. The bomb must be improved to fulfill its final destiny. Okay. We anticipate an era of glory for the Utwig. Farewell. There is much for us to do. May the Ultron be with you. <laughs> May the Ultron be with you indeed. <laughs> um, I don't. It might be their home planet. Let's check it out. Get out my way, get out my way. Oh. Do my eyes deceive me? Uh. Am I a victim of a glorious vision? Nope. I believe that I see before me the legendary Earth Captain. We have conducted a complete survey of the Utwig and we have convened the committee that will guide the formation of your saintly facade. We eagerly anticipate the delivery of an appliance. Imagine, when development is completed in perhaps less than 10 years, you may aesthetically conceal the constant reminder of your bestial aspect and walk with pride among those of sophisticated intellect. Um. Goodbye! <coughs> Is this their homeworld? Let's check it out. We want an alliance. 
Not their homeworld. It's a rainbow world, though. Scan the rainbow world. I've been here already, I think. Star map. They're on the move. Let's check out here. We have a homeworld somewhere. Where is their homeworld? I need to find it. Not here. Um, let's try this one up here. Check out this one in the four to the southwest. No on the move. If it's not here in any of these places, we'll give up. Interesting. Why is that red? Let's go exploring. Scan the planets. Not that fancy. Let's go to the white one. Oh yes, the Zeta Hyades. Where's that? Um, Zeta Hyades. We need to go there, wherever it may be. Get the bomb. Mm, don't think that's their home world. Delta. Zeta Hyades. Let's go there. Go and get the bomb. Six B, one, two, three, four, five, six, over here. B. Bombs over here, apparently. What? Why are we getting attacked? Druze, what are you doing here? Fancy meeting you here, Captain. Druze, Starship Captain, justify your presence here. We, the appointed representatives of the Crimson Corporation, merely come to obtain the fair and reasonable payment for our goods. We traveled to this region of space years ago to sell the useless Ultron device to the Ootwig. We knew even then of the weapon on the surface below us. This was to be our price. But the Ootwig used a clever ploy to cheat us. I had convinced the morose Ootwig fools that the Ultron was the answer to all of their pitiful dreams. Powers! The Proctor's wine. Will it give us the powers we crave? I assured them that, yes, the Ultron would give them the second sight. The Ultron would allow them to see into the past and the future. The Ultron would slowly imbue each of them with unique secret powers of great significance. The Ultron would ensure that their race's huge potential for greatness would be fulfilled. Then... Then a mistake was made. Enough foolishness. We will take the precursor device from the surface and then leave. Thereafter, I may see fit to bequeath the entire planet to you, Captain, for your invaluable services in the past, provided you meet them. Hmm. This pre precursor artifact does not belong to you. It is rightfully ours. Stand aside. Liar! It is we who are the genuine owners. Not you, Captain. 
those many years ago, when we offered the Ultron to the Ukwe, how they capered and laughed at their good fortune. Fools. Then they begged to hold the device, just for a moment. To close the deal, I permitted this. A grievous mistake. The moment the High Prompter touched the Ultron, her body arched and her eyes rolled back in her head. She began to babble meaningless phrases and howl like a beast. We had expected the Utwig to fall for our cell, to buy the useless device, but never with such gusto. Their self-doubt and lack of clear reason left them vulnerable to our every manipulation. But then, the Proctor's body relaxed, and her eyes slowly closed. When they reopened, her visual orbs shone with a wild and frightening light. This is all we could have dreamed of, and more, she intoned. And now, Drew, as to your price. I opened my mouth to speak, but before I could utter a word, the proctor interrupted. Wait! The Ultron feeds your thoughts directly to me. Do not speak. I know that you desire. <laughs> what could I say? That the Ultron was a farce and could do no such thing? I was stunned and silent. The Proctor continued. You Druze of the Crimson Corporation desire an object of great antiquity. Something of secret function and value. Very well. It shall be done. And with that, we were led to a small vault. The Proctor ceremoniously opened the door of the vault and explained that because we had been of such great service, all of the treasures within were now ours. Inside we found a hodgepodge of ancient and useless artifacts, a glowing rod, an absurd trident, and more such junk. I could see no way to salvage the disastrous situation at that time. But, when I heard of you, your travels, and your foolish quest for freedom, I realized that you could be the agent of our justice. And lo, it is so. You have heard our justification. It is valid and unassailable. Now go and do not return. Regardless of your feelings in this matter, we will now take the device. No. You will not. We know your soul, young captain. It is no brighter than ours. We acknowledge our greed. We revel in it. You are the dishonest one, hiding your shame and shadows. You fabricate justifications, rationales. In the end, we are just the same. But now you stand in our way. You will not be moved. Therefore, we will add your true name to our ledger of hatred. But first, die, child, die! Nah, I think you're gonna die. Let's take Belt. Druj Mahler, vehicle encases a huge long-range cannon and can employ a human-fueled matter-to-energy furnace. One belt. Who did? Who could heal me? Aha! Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Haha, <laughs> I'm not arranging you. Go, human cruisers! Oh! Bother. That was good.
Oh dear. Didn't lose too many crew. 1060, nice. Scan the planet. Energy, there you are. Let's go pick up you. Report from surface. We found a huge precursor device on the planet's surface. A giant black cylinder set within a simple defensive grid. We have already neutralized the grid. Well, actually, Jenkins just drove through it by accident, <laughs> but that seems to work. The artifact is covered with precursor script, and although we can't translate all of the writing, it is pretty clear that it is a warning. Repeated again and again. The energy output of this artifact is scary. It rivals all of our ship's engines at redline. If I may be so bold, Captain, I would advise that we not experiment with this device until we are back at the starbase. We shall now return to the ship with the black cylinder device carefully stowed in the cargo area. End of report. Okay, so I don't want to use that device. Navigate. Star map. They're on their way. Let's head to the... Thradash. Let's head to... Delta... Alpha... Well, let's just head to Thradash space. On another little journey across half the galaxy. Let's see how well those like, guys are doing. They're in their space. How far to go now? Oh, not too far. Should be there about early May. Yeah, late April, early May. Now, actually, let's head to the centre. Delta to Draconis. Where the most ships will be. Aha! A target! Are you Thrash? Yes, you are. Converse. So it's you, the thief. The skulking little human weasel. We should not have left the Aqua Helix planet unguarded. You have shown us a weakness in ourselves, and for that we thank you. Okay. But we desire the return of the Helix, and since I suspect you won't give it willingly, eat flaming death, you grainy sucking pig. Okay. Blow him up. Avoid the planet if we can.
Here we go. Star map. Head here. Hello, Thwarash. I've come to blow you up. Converse. Ahoy, stupid human. You are arrogant and absurd. You took our wonderful, ancient, sacred aqua helix and refused to return it. This makes us mad, extremely mad. Prepare to meet thy doom, alien thief. Okay, maybe these guys won't join me. Maybe I did that wrong. Come here, Thrash. Okay, we've destroyed them. Let's get out of here. Star map. Let's head to this place here and get some fuel. That's a shame. It'd be nice to have them as allies, but oh well. Beat Week are much better allies. Okay, not too many planets here. Where is the Trade Master? Not here. Over this one, maybe? There he is. Welcome back, Captain. Uh, cell. Okay. Fuel. Maximum. Goodbye. Star map. Let's head to Alilu Lalili space. Will we make it on time? Possibly. <clears throat> Come with the star is there. Appears on the seventeenth. Ooh, you're fast. Ah, uh, our human friend. Please let us chat a while. It has been so many years since I last visited your Earth. So long since I glided across your open fields under the light of a full moon. <laughs> Tell me of Earth. Tell me of what I have. Oh, I forget myself. How silly. You were born on the distant world Unzervault. I have visited there much more recently. <laughs> What are you doing here in this region of the space? We are many places at many times. This place is an easy place. One of the ten easy places. At different times, we explore different easy places. That is our way. Oh, I can see from the look in your eyes that I have confused you. I am silly. Please disregard my words. <laughs> okay. What are you exploring for in these easy places? We seek to trap Ning, but they dark Ning. You cannot trap Ning. Do not even try. I do not think you can even touch them. You are not quite solid enough. <laughs> okay. Okay, you trap these Ning things, then what? Why, we let them go, of course. Ning do not like to be confined. Captain, 
These things we talk about, they are unimportant to you. They are as dreams. Our words should address your universe, not ours. What exactly is your connection with Earth and humans anyway? You are curious. That is a promising quality. How can I describe our relation to humans? Never doubt our motives, Captain. Your well-being is of paramount concern to every Aryan. Surely you know that it was the day after humanity joined the Alliance of Three Stars that we appeared in the open for the first time. This was no coincidence. We wanted to protect you. Once we saw that you were, well, safe, we decided to tend to other business for a short while. Believe me, Captain, we have known each other for a very long time. You might even say that we knew the first human. We still struggle against the Urquan. Can you help us? With ships and weapons, blood and bones? No. Too many shipmates were forcibly discorporated in the last conflict. Our cooperation is not necessary. You are the focus. However, knowledge transcends reality perimeters, and this we can share with you. An example, to discover the nature of the red probes, see creatures who inhabit a world with no surface. Yes, we know that. Goodbye! Farewell, child. Okay, got to wait till the 17th. Stop following me! There it is. We want to go up here. 18th. 19th. 20th, and the portal's gone. Get the portal spawner. The prospect of sharing the easy way with you excites us. If you have found the Urquan Warp Pod, this prospect can be made a reality. We have met the Unger and they are acting extremely weird like zombie blobbies. Hmm, this is disturbing news. They are normally rambunctious to an extreme. We will send ships to Unga space to investigate. We should have some answers in a few days time. I have obtained the warp pod from the Urquan wreck. What a surprise! As we have always said, humans are a most resourceful and clever species. We are so proud of you, but don't worry that you shall have to wait. We are prepared. Even now, our technical personnel are equipping your ship with a custom version of our portal spawner device. The device is usable only in hyperspace. Whenever it is activated, the spawner will focus several interdimensional fatigue beams adjacent to your vessel, opening a temporary hole into quasi-space. Move quickly through the portal. After your ship has passed into quasi-space, you can choose any of the nearby portals which lead back to hyperspace, thus saving you needless transit time. Be keenly aware of this fact. The spawner requires a great deal of energy to function. We estimate that each time you use the device, it will consume 10 of your fuel units. 10? Goodbye, my Aurelu friends. Goodbye, clever child. I'll go back there. Just leave a bit. And call that it for part 35. Join me next time for part 36. I'll see you then. <laughs>